Hey, my name is Rhea Waller, and you are taking CIT 48A IT Fundamentals, which is really the course to give you that introduction to all things IT. Maybe not all things, but a lot of things. And this is part of the cybersecurity program here at Fresno City College. And boy, what an amazing time to take cybersecurity topics any cybersecurity topics, quite frankly. Cybersecurity shows up in the news almost daily. Well, of course, this depends on your feed, right? This depends on how the algorithm is serving you information. For me, because cybersecurity is something I'm generally interested in, both for me personally, for businesses, for the places that I work, for the students I work with, cybersecurity is generally the top of most of our minds for those of us in IT, no matter what specialty we work in. I, my specific specialty here at Fresno City College is web development. So can you imagine the importance of having good security systems when we're developing apps for the web, when we're developing e-commerce, when we want to have secure information go back and forth? These are all important topics. So this class is relevant to our world today. And I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're part of the cybersecurity program at Fresno City College. And in this week, I call it section zero. It's really the before you start the semester, you can get at least an overview. You'll get some good news. I'll go ahead and give it to you. There's no cost for textbooks for this class. It's actually material both from uh, organization called IT Pro and from PDFs that have been created by a statewide course, uh, course of, uh, consortium. For some reason, that word came hard. Um, so that's great news. Uh, this class is organized into a nine-week compress mode class. Normally classes, um, depending on which classes you take, but normally classes are 18 weeks long. So it's uh, compressed 18 into nine, which means it's all the content, but it's in a smaller time frame. So it's a really important to keep up with the course content. So in this video, I just kind of wanted to say hi. Uh, just give you a few things. Uh, your week, your section one, which would really be your week one. Uh, there's a video for that that'll go over that content. Um, but really what I wanted to say is like this class is um, a, in a sense, you can think of it as, as test prep for the IT fundamentals exam. Now, the last, we have a midterm and an exam, uh, the final, the final exam is the closest is like the f closest thing to actually taking the test so i'll give you more information as we move forward through the course about how you can actually take uh and we recommend of course uh, that you take uh the test so that you have that sort of that uh part of it done okay all right, let me turn to the Canvas course. We use Canvas for all of our classes here at Fresno City College. So this is where this course is being offered, which you already know that because that's how you found this video, my guess. I'm logged in as a student here and I'm in the course. And what you can see is uh, in here in the start here, because that's hopefully where you started, um, is the video that I'm recording right now. So in this case, I've also provided a link to the courses being offered and when they're being offered here at Fresno City College. So if you have any questions about that, um, you can definitely ask me. If I don't know, I'll forward you on to somebody that can give you some better information. Lori Swain is our counselor. I suspect most of you have already talked to Lori. Uh, Vern uh, Farley is actually the other faculty teaching right now at, at, in this program, really the main faculty uh, for that as well. So if I don't know the answer, I will try to find it for you. Okay, so this course is set up to with the intention that you move through it in sequence, meaning item after item. So what you can see by it in this one is that you have a next button. So this next button will lead you to the IT fundamentals plus information, kind of where it came from, who are the people that worked on it. The content is being managed by the by this particular organization. As I said before, the cost are there's no cost in materials, which I really think is important. I think we all do, and that this is really, you know, the key focus is to, pr this is a giving you those larger IT topics that it, most everyone that, even people that are not going into IT jobs probably need to have these days, but specifically for those who are, so that it preps you for that exam. So you can check that out as well. So this is really, 
the first video in a series that we will break down every week. So this course in that sense is mostly um, organized around uh, a PDF for this topic. So like the first week it's operating systems and then you'll have videos from the IT pro folks and then you'll have uh, quizzes related to both of those items. So and then you'll have a discussion for whatever we're discussing that week and then you'll probably have something related to um, the research because uh, you'll have a research essay that you'll do, you'll have slides that you put together, and then you'll have a video at the very end where you go through and present a concept related to cybersecurity. And then you'll have midterm exams. So that kind of breaks down, and each of those are 25% of the class, okay? So coming back here, this is the first in the series that will end up breaking each week, but it's good to watch this first one. And yes, these videos are a little bit dated and I won't lie to you when I watched them getting prepped for this course, I did watch them at a little faster speed. I suspect most people know about that. Um, if you do need help with Canvas, the best way to reach out to me is really here in the inbox. I I run for my other programming classes because that's my primary teaching discipline is I run a Discord server. So I'm hoping to actually have this course uh, in a Discord server that Vern and I will be running together. So hopefully you'll see that coming soon. Uh, but if you need some extra help, there's a link to a course. And so this section, and I'm going to roll back here so you can see this, begins the FAQ. So frequently asked questions. And as of right now, I only have posted a couple here just because I like to get started with some of these, you know, the grammar. Because you're going to, you need to write well. You need to uh, write so that people can understand you. But what this will serve as, at least in the beginning of this class, is when students ask questions that I think are important for other students to understand or to hear here or to have the answer to, you can refer back to here. And I may refer you back if I've already answered that question. I'm like, you know what, go check out this item in the FAQs for an answer to that. Okay, so the that gives you at least an overview of the way um, the course flows. It's, it's built in what we call modules. You wouldn't know that really. It's where you come into the main page at or the main course page at. And one of the things I highly recommend is that you get used to using what's called the calendar feature. The calendar feature will always land on the current day, which you can see in this case is before the start of the semester. So I'm going to roll it forward. So hopefully you know, you know, the semester starts on officially on the 8th. I release this course early. I've already published it and sent everyone an email. Most of the work and I'm going to say this because you're going to learn more about this in section one. Most of the work uh, is actually due. And let me just say this is due on Sunday, but the discussions you need to post yours on Wednesday. And, but here's the thing, and I've seen enough, <laughs> I've had enough experiences to know why this is, but I don't recommend waiting until the due date to work on items, especially for a class like this, because what you want to do is actually bite off as much as you can comprehend and take in. Because if you're only working at the due date, which, by the way, is yeah, I wouldn't really know. Well, I would know. I could look at your your activity in the class, so that would tell me. But because of the way it's structured, I'm enforcing the idea of the discussions being done early. So my point is that you really need to have a schedule for yourself for how often you work on a class like this. Because again, it's compressed mode. Um, waiting until the due date, what happens if your internet goes down that night, right? Um, and then it just, your stress level, okay, maybe I'm speaking just for me, okay, maybe all of us, I don't know, but when I'm trying to accomplish something, and especially because I've waited till the last minute, and then technology or something happens and I can't get it done, then my stress level is going to go out the roof. So just try to decrease your stress level by setting a schedule for yourself for working on this class. That was my point. And this calendar feature can help you at least know what the major items are that's due that week, but use some kind of system. Uh, by the way, Canvas does allow you to add individual items, so you could reset this, but I know for me, I use a calendaring system that allows me to do recurring dates. And that's really helpful because then I can see, okay, what do I need to work on today, right? Maybe make a goal that I finish, you know, half this work by, by the Wednesday of that week. 
um, whatever your doable goals are. Now, for me, what I typically try to do is I try to work on something each day because that also keeps it in my mind and it keeps me actively thinking about it, which for a class like this, you definitely want to do. Okay, so that's the calendar. Uh, the thing I, I'm, I'm here for, in addition to talking about organizing the way you work, is to talk about the final as far as the class. Because this is a nine-week class, it's probably the third time I've said it, you, your final is going to be due on a Thursday night, October 6th. So I will wake up on the morning of the 7th, um, post uh, change or, or update anything that's been uh, submitted at that point. And so the last work that you can do in this class will be at that point in the semester. Okay, I just want you to know that coming in because these compressed courses, sometimes it can get away from you. All right, so this hopefully gives you enough of an overview of the class um, that you can get started. And I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you've chosen this class. I look forward to teaching um, these topics. I've been teaching a wide range of topics specializing in web development. But of course, as I said before, very relevant and related to cybersecurity. So I'm excited to have this class uh, be new for me this semester. And I think Vern uh, Farley, if you don't know the Professor Farley, he actually had set up this class and him and I uh, rolled it into this semester. We'll be making a few changes as we go through. So I look forward to that as well. All right, have a great one. And you can continue on to section one. If you're watching this before the start of the semester, you don't have to, but why not? You're here, start of the semester. All right, see you later.